guys, I'm back trying to finish up my books here with you once again. I have plenty of books and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, here are my newest editions of books. So, and I have started reading some of them, even though I've not read some of the others I have. But, um, I started a year and a day program with Flora Peterson online. And if you're hearing a lot of banging in the back, it's my husband. He's in the basement making him a new man cave or something. I don't know. Um, so I've gotten a few books that I needed to get for her class for my year and a day. And then I have some books that I just bought the other day that were actually really good. Okay. I'll go with the books that I'm now reading for Flora Peterson's year and a day per our year and a yay program positive magic by Mary Weinstein this book has changed my outlook on several things and I'm not even but into chapter three um she talks about positive magic and negative mag magic it's not white or black it's positive and negative but actually negative magic can turn in to positive magic and she talks about all those elements see I'm actually only in chapter two um but I'm taking this to heart because this is a year and a day course oh, I'm in chapter three and I've been highlighting and making little marks and things that I think is important I think I'm actually going to read to you a little bit here just because I think this book is awesome Positive magic works on a much deeper level. Instead of tapping power from an outside source, positive magic works with an awareness and an affirmation of the true inner power of the self. Positive magic goes far beyond the level of ego, deeply into the human soul, where our divinity re resides and where we are part of God and Goddess. The kind of magic does not promise exuberant power because it does not not acknowledge the need for such overcompensation in the first place which is so totally true but this is a wonderful book and the revised edition is the best one to get because she's actually went through and wrote has broke down now what she thinks that was different when she first wrote this book so this one's a really really good read um the Simple Sabbaths by Flora Peterson. She is awesome. Her book is great. Um, it's very, very, very simple and to the point. She gives you recipes. She talks to you about each one of the Sabbaths, the S-spots, and gives you little areas to write notes. She talks about the Wheel of the Year. And it's just a really, really good book. Jim Waters, I haven't got into it yet. We have not gotten that far into our year in the day program. I have flipped through it. It does look interesting, but I can't wait to start making my own gym elixirs. I think that'll be fun. Crystal Grids by Hibiscus Moon. Hibiscus Moon is awesome. She has a YouTube account also. I think it's called Hibiscus Moon Crystal Academy. She um, is a certified crystal healer and she teaches and she certifies people to be crystal healers. Um, but she's awesome. I've watched several of her books, I mean several of her videos and some of her meditations. Um, but I've not started reading this book yet. We've not got into it. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. That would be my alarm system letting me know that he's making a lot of noise down in the basement. That would be my husband. Summoning the Fates by Z Budapest. I've heard that this book is absolutely awesome. But this was um, one of the books required for our year in the day. So I have not gotten to it yet. Because her lessons go with her books. And Drawing Down the Moon... Um, I've actually had this one for a while. I've read half of it and then found out it was part of the Year in a Yay course. So I stopped reading it so that I could keep up with where she wanted us to be. 
and it's by Margo, Margo Adler. Um, it's been revised and updated several times as well. Um, but so far, this one's a really good book. She talks more of history. History of where the witches, druids, goddess worshippers, and other pagans in America actually came from. Where did it stem from? She talks about um, Angel of Saxon, um, the Gerald Gardner way of it. She talks about it all. It's really good. Okay, I only got like a few more minutes. Okay, now I bought this one at Barnes and Nobles yesterday. It's called the Element Encyclopedia to Secret Signs and Symbols. This is I thought this would be a great reference book, and for nine ninety eight, can't beat that because it got it has everything you can think of that's a symbol, a letter, a number, what certain types of clothing means. So this will be a great to grab book. Twenty thirteen Witch's Companion. I've actually been reading this, and it ain't even twenty thirteen yet. But it's because it is an awesome book. Um, it does have the calendar in here. And it... Wherever it is, but it's in here. There's a calendar in here, I promise. There's the calendar. And it talks about different things. But this whole book is just about us. About how to better ourselves in the next coming year. If you want to know about your animal totems, this is another great book that Flora Peterson recommends. This was not on our list of books to buy, but after she read me some stuff out of it when I was watching one of her courses videos, I had to have this book. And I did y'all a meditation out of this book uh, as well. So this book has been awesome. I'm not, I've just been flipping through it. I haven't completely read it yet. I think I'm up to like chapter three. But that's a great book. This is my very, very first book of shadows. I don't have very much in it. Because I'm using it as my year and a yay program study. So I write down everything that I learn and read out of my books. So that I can keep up with it. And here is one of my goddesses that I look up to. This is Brie, Keeper of the Flame. She's a in the Celtic Pantheon. And one day I'm going to make a video about foundations. Because this right here has really helped me out. And I think it will too. And it's just a exercise that come from Flora. And I would like to do that one day with y'all. It's really, really good exercise. And last. My Herb Bible. I just got it for $12.98 and it talks about everything that I could really use to do herbs. I started an herb garden this summer. I was able to grow the herbs but then didn't really know how to um, harvest them or cultivate them afterwards. So this book um, is supposed to help me with that I hope and then it also gives you um, recipes, what herbs go with what for cooking, for healing. Um, tells you what to do during the winter, right before it's time to start planting. And it's, I'm hoping it's going to be a really good read. But that concludes all of my books that I have in my collection at this time.